You ever wanted to play Blood Rage at the Great Wall? How about at the Roman Empire? Or my personal favorite, Blood Rage in Space. Come on, Eric Lang. That's just an awesome expansion idea. Blood Rage in Space. Honestly, is there any place that's not good to play Blood Rage? I'm Cos with the Dice Odyssey. Thanks so much for coming into the channel. Uh, I'm here to take a look and do an overview of this Game Toppers, Game Topper by Game Toppers LLC. That was a mouthful and I think I said that wrong. So let's go ahead and take a look right now at what this is going to offer you and why you absolutely should take a look at this thing. Now to be absolutely upfront with you, this video is sponsored by Game Toppers. But before there was ever any talk about any kind of like a sponsorship for a video or anything like that, I had met Berkey, who is the head of Game Toppers. Great guy, awesome, fun, hilarious guy actually. Reminds me a little bit of the Monopoly guy, except I don't hate him. And I met him at Gen Con 2019. And it was at Gen Con 2019 that I had first laid eyes upon a game topper. I think I'd heard of them before, but I, I wasn't paying as close of attention to it. Uh, particularly because when it comes to game tables, typically I'm thinking, you know, they're extraordinarily expensive. I can't afford it right now. There's no way I could possibly get one of these, you know, anytime soon. Because you're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars usually for a really good one, right? Like Wrath Skellers and whoever else. But at Gen Con 2019, I was noticing publishers all around that place had all of these game toppers sitting there. And at first, I didn't know what was going on with them. I, I sat down, I remember at Reavers of Midgard, I sat down at that table and I was going, wow, it's a beautiful game table. Somebody spent some money, you know? <laughs> and then I happened to look underneath and I'm going, okay, they didn't spend money on the legs. What, what's going on there? Look, it, it kind of, I, I might have been a folding table. I can't even remember now, but it didn't look like the top did. And that's when I discovered, oh, this is a game topper. This is sweet. How can I get one of these? And I talked to Berkey and I interviewed him and I, he went around showing me all the different kinds of game toppers that he had around the convention, you know? And so at that time, I was already impressed with what I saw of the craftsmanship, the uh, integrity of the man that's running the company, the people he works with, just great people. Uh, I was impressed by all of it, the attention to detail uh, and all these things. And it wasn't until like a year and a half now later that I've actually gotten myself one of these. So I wanna spend some time telling you why I like this thing, all the different kinds of features that I personally like, and I'm also going to tell you some negatives that have. Now, I personally went in for the Holmes Luxuriant Oak six foot by three foot table. Now, I've always wanted a six foot by three foot or bigger even. My normal folding table is six foot by like two and a half or maybe less. And it was just never really enough to do everything that I wanted. You know, I'd always have to put like components on a different table sometimes because you couldn't fit everything, especially with a full complement. And obviously there's multiple sizes of tables that you can get if you were wanting to get one. And the fact is you just tailor it to your own experience, to what you, you know, you're planning on putting it on top of. You're going to have to figure out those dimensions. And they have all that on their website. As you can see, I also have the, the carrying bag for it right there you see that and I will say this I think it's cool that this thing can be so mobile that you could actually store it inside of this bag and carry it it's also got cushioning in the bag which is going to protect the table but as you can see it's really easy you know you set your table up and you basically just place the two topper pieces together you cannot slide them they've got this 3m material underneath the tabletop part that'll keep it from sliding look it's going to hold and stick to that table like a glove it's very easy to slide those holders together and just tighten them into place again it takes you maybe a minute or two to set this thing up now another thing that i really love is the game mat system i believe this is three millimeter thick game mats and when i say they are thick i think they're going for like 10 pounds each i also like the fact you have game mat carrying cases and if you're going to have a massive game day you could you know carry several to a game day and actually you know continue to replace the mat on the table 
and it's very easy. Pull them out, unroll them, and just roll them back up when you're done. Now on the new Kickstarter, they've got some new mats they're going to be debuting. One of them is this Roman Empire mat. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, my wife is from Italy originally, and this naturally will just speaks to her when she saw it. She's like, oh yeah, the Colosseum. And this is, I, I recognize this, I recognize that. And it's just beautiful looking, you know what I mean? Oh, look at the houses, look at, look at the details. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then they have another mat that's coming out on the Kickstarter called the Great Wall Mat. I mean, look at the absolute gorgeous details. So yeah, these are two of the new Kickstarter mats that are coming out and you should definitely, definitely consider getting them. I will say though, there could be a downside to having these absolutely gorgeous and immersive mats. This is like virtual reality for board gamers, immersing yourself into that world. <sighs> I've always wanted to sleep on the Great Wall. I may have a problem. One of my favorite parts of actually owning this game topper and all these different kinds of themed mats is the fact that I can now play games that are themed to the surrounding area of the map, you know? Like I can actually immerse myself deeper. Like for example, the Roman mat, because there was a Roman empire, we can play things like Star Wars Rebellion because you know, you've got the empire in there and um, you know, that works. I love it, you know, and, and look, there's Darth Vader. Look, 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 Star Wars. It's Star Wars, y'all. That means it, it goes with anything, okay? Now, quite frankly, I haven't even shown you some of the coolest parts of this system. And that's gotta be the drink holder, component holder trays, okay? Plus the dice towers that you can have on this rail system. Take a look right here. Check it out, it's got a nice, I think this is an acrylic top portion that actually sits on top of your drink holder, okay? So you can hold extra components. It even has some bays here. You can hold dice and extra components and things like that. You pop this acrylic off, I can get it. You pop that off, check it out. It's got these two different gaskets if you get the double tray holder. Two different gaskets that sit very nicely for all types of different drinks and things of that nature. And uh, yeah, both of them will do it, right? You can pop both of them out. Okay, and there you go. You can pop them back in if you want to. Very nice. And then, let's go ahead and just pop that back out. I can go ahead and set this on the actual rail system. And it sits in there quite nicely. Let me show you. Check it out, right? You can go ahead and move that down if you want. And it nicely slides in and out of that rail system down there. I love it. It just, it works so wonderfully, okay? It just works so wonderfully. And then check it out. I can set it like that, like that. And look how big the, the well is. You can put pretty much just about anything in it. And this is kind of the, the kind of gaskets, I've, at least I've heard that they work on uh, with industrial machines and things like that. So you're talking about really high quality stuff here. I mean, that's gonna take a long, long time to wear out if it ever does at all. You see this right here? It's a card slot. I know those are all the same. I kind of just grabbed those on the fly because I just remembered to talk about it. But uh, this is all from Western Legends. Now, let me go ahead and show you the dice tower system. Now there's different types of dice towers that they have available. I think I've got, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's like the castle dice tower. And it's also got this uh, component tray slash you know, bay area, I guess you'd call it, or, or ramp that the dice are gonna go down. Check this out. You basically, you can have it on the table if you want to. It can sit just like so, okay? Kind of move around, whatever you want. It's got a dice tower that we can sit in there, okay? And you put that in the top. So what you can do is you can attach these little legs, if I can do it right. Attach those on, all right? And next thing you know, this sucker becomes even more mobile and kind of out of the way. Check it out, it snaps right onto the sides. It moves up and down the lane. So if your friend wants to play, you know, roll dice next after you, right on down and check it out. We'll go ahead and roll some dice. Oh, there goes one right now. Very nicely, right onto the table. You gotta love it, gotta love it, right? It also has this catch that fits right into where the legs go. Matter of fact, the legs fit into it. Okay, and if you're gonna roll some dice, check it out, roll those dice, 
I don't know if you can see very well, but we're gonna do that. It catches them. You can pull it out if you want, and you can just slide the dice anywhere you want on the table, and they stay in that little catch area. <sighs> can you see why I love this table yet? Come well, on. I'll tell you, um, this has thoroughly enhanced my gaming experience. I mean, a, a million fold, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> my opinion, I'm an expert on my opinion, right? But I will say that, for example, just all the different things that are involved in this, from having the cup holders that are, are hanging off on the rail here, to having like slideable dice towers with component trays, and the component trays on the on the cup holders, for goodness sake. And I love the fact that the cup holders are collapsible, you know, they fit nearly any kind of mug or what have you. Um, having thematic mats, kind of like the space mat, which I can play like Dwellings of Eldervale on, you know? Because there's exploration in that, just like in real space. Uh, things like that really add to the experience overall. This gorgeous oak uh, design, the uh, you know the, the the aluminum, the military grade aluminum, from what I hear, uh, and the fact that Berkey constantly says things like "I spared no expense," just like John Hammond in Jurassic Park. But the cool thing is that this thing is not going to rise up and eat me. You know what I mean? Like a T Rex would. Uh, there are so many wonderful things that I absolutely love about this table. And would I, uh, do I wanna go back? See, I'll, I'll go ahead and list some negatives here. There are some negatives to having this table. Uh, number one, I don't wanna play on another type of table. I might play like on a, on a game table specifically designed, you know, from the ground up, you know, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 worth. Sure, I'll sit down at your table and play, but wanting to, to, to actually sit down at a dining room table now, it's really difficult, you know? It's really difficult to just sit down and actually play at a standard plastic folding table. Or even my old poker table that I, I, I liked a lot, but there were times I couldn't fit things on it and we always didn't have enough room and it didn't have all the extra fun little additions, uh, the, this really fun rail system and everything else that this game table provides you. It's really what I would consider a luxuriant experience. Um, and, and, and what other negatives? Uh, okay, like if you've got kids. What is going on in my office? <laughs> what is this? What are you doing in my room? Get off my game timer, this ain't a bed. What do you think you're doing? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Go get a job and get your own game topper! I love my kids. Now, another major negative... Is guys, this is going to change our game nights forever, man. I've been wanting one of these jokers for years. What do you guys think of it? I'm excited! Mm, we can roll with it. Uh-huh. Mm, yeah, I think okay. so. Man, you guys are letting me down. I thought y'all would be mind blown. All right, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a few minutes. Take it down. Go wash the sparkle mm, off. Take it down. Roll them out up to just get the head in. Yep, yep. Alright, I'm grabbing games. Mm -hmm. What the flip side? You get to discover who your friends really are. Now, all joking aside, when it comes to the actual well of the table, how maybe how high up you have to sit and all that, that's not necessarily the game topper issue. It's going to be more your table being the issue. Uh, you know, so depending on how high up your table sits, uh, you may or may not, and also your chair, right? You may or may not like exactly how it sits, but I will tell you that this table actually worked out just right. It doesn't sit horribly too high up from the ground. It's average height. And I usually not, I don't like doing that or anything like that. I don't like always my arms sitting in, but this was not bad. This one was actually comfortable. The way that they designed this system here makes it comfortable, you know what I mean? And I've sat down at this thing for hours at a time and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And to be honest with you, I just got used to it, you know? So if you're worried about ergonomics, I think the ergonomics will work. It's gonna depend on your chair and table, uh, but this has worked for me. And it's smooth and it doesn't, it doesn't cut against me. It doesn't like cut off my circulation, at least it hasn't yet. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, something to consider, but I personally have not had a problem with it. I'll also say I really love the sturdiness of this thing. Like I'm pushing down on this 
and it is moving the table rather than just the topper. I tried to flip this table just to see if it would slide off and the rest of it was going with it. The legs were lifting up with this thing. So this 3M material that he's got underneath this table really does a great job at holding this topper on. Now another wonderful positive to this is the fact that I now have more playing area to play on. And this is gonna fit games that I was not able to quite fit on these other tables nowhere near as well. And if I was able to put like their boards on the tables, for example, like Western Legends, uh, it, you know, it with the, with the by itself, it fit fine on those other tables that I had. But with the expansion, you could barely get any of the player boards on the table. You really couldn't sit down and play the game and be comfortable, you know what I mean? But with this, you can be. This has just enough space for me to place the board and the expansion boards and actually have everybody around it and not feel like you're just crammed in there, right? Or, or you have to get extra tables on the side to hold components and this, that, and the other, or hold your player board for even, for, for that matter. Another thing I love about this is the fact that if I want to put this away and store it out of sight, I can do that. I can easily unscrew those things and within a minute or two, I have that thing put away and all I gotta do is fold my table up and put it away. It doesn't take more than a couple of minutes to do. So overall, I am absolutely impressed with this thing. I really think that you should definitely take a look at it. They are having, I think their third Kickstarter coming up soon. It's more, much more affordable than your standard game table, but go check their Kickstarter out. Thank you so much for watching the Dice Odyssey today. I know this is a little bit of a longer video, but I really, 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 really wanted to give my, my two, three, and four, and five cents on this Joker, and I think it's definitely something worth your time checking out. Anyway, thank you again. You have a blessed day, and game away.